first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number nine on the topic profit and loss so now we are going to solve a question that is based on the concept called x cost price is equals to y selling price right i will tell you how to solve the question that is based on the concept so everything but before that every video i am repeatedly saying this right so do not directly come and watch this lesson number nine so first watch lesson number one introduction learn the basics and then lesson number two three four so if you keep on learning like this and then while if you are coming to this lesson number nine you can able to understand the exact concept and exact method what i'm going to say now right so always start learning from lesson number one so friends now entering into this lesson number nine profit and loss topic that is xcp is equals to y selling price so listen here, before solving a question, you have to remember one important lesson that is lesson number three, right? So lesson number three, that is lesson number three, what we learned is a quantity change. I hope you remember it, right? So lesson number three is a quantity change. Lesson number three, and now what we are going to learn is lesson number nine, both are same. So friends, understood or not? Lesson number three and lesson number nine, both are same. Only the question format may be different, but the solving method will be same for both the lessons. So if you take your books and see, you can able to see, they usually solve lesson number three by a different method, lesson number nine by a different method, like ratio or something method. So what I am going to do is, we already learned one concept that is on lesson number three, that is quantity change. The same concept we can apply for lesson number nine to get the answer. It will be very easy. You don't want to learn any new method to solve a question on lesson number nine. It is enough what we learned on lesson number three, right? So, but you have to understand one thing. You should know the difference between lesson three and lesson nine question. That is important because the question format will be different, but solving method will be same. So what I can do here is I can show you the question on lesson number three as well as nearby I can show you the question what we are going to solve here in this lesson number nine. So first lesson number three question. So just see lesson number three question what we learned is uh, four lemons were bought at three. Five lemons were sold at four. So whether profit percentage or loss percentage. Yes, this is the thing what we learned on lesson number three. The same year, the same concept, right? Where in this lesson number nine, just look at the question. So look, the question is, three toys were sold at a four toy cost price. So when just see, there also they are talking about a quantity, right? Four lemons or five lemons. Here also they are talking about quantity because four toy, three toy. But the only difference here is, here also our target is to find whether the profit percentage or loss percentage. There also profit percentage or loss percentage. The, the difference between lesson 3 and lesson 9 question is, there the selling price amount is given. Right? 4 lemon were sold at 3. So which means 3 rupees is the selling price. But here that selling price amount is not given. But remember one thing, both are same. Right? What they are saying is, Three toys selling price is four toys cost price. So four toy cost price amount, that amount will be equal to three toy selling price. So that amount will be same, right? That is the difference between lesson three and lesson nine. But remember one thing, solving method is same. Lesson number three, how we solve the question, always I have told you, if there is a question that is based on a quantity, 10 books are sold, 20 toys are sold, whatever be, if they are talking about the quantity, what should be our first step? Find one quantity cost price and find one quantity selling price. Yes or no, right? That's the thing I've told you in lesson number three. So if you see a question that is based on a quantity, your first target to find one quantity cost price, one quantity selling price. So if you find one CP and one SP, if they ask to find a profit percentage or a loss percentage, everything is easy. So similarly, we are going to do the same here, right? So if you, if you can't able to recall what we learned in lesson number three, that's the thing I'm repeatedly saying it while watching all my videos, take a separate note, right? I have a note for quantitative aptitude, right? Profit and loss. So uh, each and every video after watching my video, right? And take it as a separate notes. What important points, 
what important points I am saying, write all those stuff because after 10 days or after 20 days you may forget. But if you take your notes and if you just, you don't want to watch my video and again and again, right? You don't want to waste 20, 30 minutes of time. So once you after watching it, take a note, right? Uh, have a proper notes and take a homework question also, whatever I'm giving a homework, write it on a note. So every time before going for exams, just take your note and revise everything. So surely you can able to crack it without notes by just watching a video it's it's something useless right so uh, now let me move on to the questions that is based on lesson number nine so here is the question number one so three toy are sold at a cost price of four toy of a same kind so find the profit percentage our target is to find the profit percentage but what is the important data they have given us three toy selling price is equal to four toy cost price so just just listen here so four toy right four toy cost price we don't know what what is the cost price of four toy let me keep it as x right it can be 100 rupees or 200 rupees whatever be but four toy cost price is x the same amount is equal to three toy selling price so friends if you can able to understand this then solving question number nine is very easy so friends understood or not right so three toy selling price is same as four toy cost price that's the thing they have told there right just see three toy are sold at the cost price of four toy so four toy cost price we have fixed as x for the same price e sells three toy so x and x will be same so this is the important concept in lesson number three right in lesson number three that is on quantity change four lemon were sold at three rupees so there this amount has been given but here this amount will be same that's it this is the difference between lesson 3 and lesson 9 but the solving method everything will be same here what we are going to do is we are going to find what is the one cost price one toy cost price so one toy cost price will be x by 4 so similarly one toy selling price will be x by 3 so now our target is to find what is the profit percentage so selling price minus cost price so selling price x by 3 minus of cost price x by 4 divided by cost price x by 4 into 100 that's it so we can take lcm as 12 here so 4x minus 3x so bring this a denominator term to the numerator which will be 4 by x into 100 so 4x minus 3x will be x by 12 into 4 by x into 100 Right, we can cancel x and x, 1 4s are 4, 3 times. So 100 by 3 percentage will be the profit. Right? So either it can, we can write this as 100 by 3 or else 33.33 something or else 33, 1 by 3 percentage. All the 3 are same. So this will be the profit percentage of this question. Right? So when it's understood or not, right? Uh, the, you first, you have to understand the question difference solving method everything is same so first understand how the question 3 looks like and how the question 9 looks like in the question number 3 so these left hand side data will be same but right hand side data they have directly given right 4 lemon were sold at 3 5 lemon were bought at 8 so this rupees has been given but here that rupee has not been given but it is same so only we have fixed as x and x for for both the values we have fixed x as same and then we found one cost price of a toy, one selling price of a toy and then we found a profit percentage. In case I have told you there also, in case if we are getting an answer in negative, then it is a loss. If you are getting an answer in positive, then it is a profit. So here is the answer for the first question is 33, 1 by 3 percentage. Question number 2. So if the cost price of 15 table is equal to selling price of 20 table, find whether it's a profit percentage or loss percentage in the transaction. A same concept, right? So cost price of 15 table, which is equal to selling price of 20 table. So what you need to do is first, so 15 table cost price. So 15 table cost price is equal to X. So the same X amount is equal to 20 table selling price. Right? So I have told you how to write this. So what is the next step? find one table cost price so one table cost price will be x by 15 so similarly one table selling price will be x by 20 
So now our target is to find whether it is a profit or a loss percentage in the transaction. In lesson number three also I have told you the same thing. If they ask you like whether it is a profit or loss, apply in a profit formula. If you get a positive value, then it is profit. If you are getting a negative value, then it is loss, right? So what we are going to do is I'm going to apply in a profit percentage formula that is selling price minus cost price divided by cost price into 100. So selling price, so selling price will be X by 20 minus of cost price will be x by 15 so divided by cost price x by 15 into 100 right so now we can take 20 15 lcm will be 60 so 3x so minus of 4x into 15 by x into 100 so 3x minus 4x will be minus x right because not only x it is minus x so minus x by 60 so 15 by x into 100 so we can cancel x and x here, 115s are 15, 4 times, 14s are 4, this will be 25. So finally we got minus 25 percentage, understood or not, why because we have here we have minus. So minus 25, the resultant answer will be not a profit, it is a loss. So 25 percentage loss in the transaction, right. So that's it. If you got in, in case if you got an answer in a positive, then we can say that 25 percentage of profit. If you are not getting an answer in positive, if you are getting an answer in negative, then it is a loss. Right? But apply in the same formula. Say SP minus CP divided by CP into 100. Got it? So this will be the answer for the second question. So now, now I hope you uh, understood the difference between lesson 3 and lesson 4. Solving method, everything is same. So only difference is this value will be given on lesson number 3. But here this value is not given. But we assume that as x because both are same. right? So uh, that's it friends. So I will give you one question as a homework question. right? So try to solve this homework question and check whether you are getting the answers or not. right? So if you got an answer, do one thing. Uh, have a separate note what I told initially so I have a separate note for each and every topic on quantitative aptitude so that if you like uh, many students are like keep on asking the comment session that how many videos are yet to post right how many total videos are there in profit and loss so actually I have total of 12 lesson so of uh, the topic profit and loss uh, but anyway, I will try to post all the 12 lessons as soon as possible right? because we have come to lesson number 9, only 3 more lessons to go and then I will be teaching you a little bit of different case in the topic profit and loss. So what you guys have to do is have a separate note, write whatever important things I am saying because till this lesson number 9, I didn't teach you any formula yet. Right. So only three formulas by using the three basic formula on profit and loss I am solving everything even if I am teaching any new formula on any one of the lesson I am teaching you in a normal method traditional method also. So uh, the important thing that you need to know is do not depend on a formula and do not depend on a shortcut. Learn the traditional method if there is any technique to solve learn that but do not kindly depend on shortcut and do not learn formulas to solve each and every question right because if you do that then you may get 20 30 formulas in profit and loss itself only one topic itself you may get 30 30 for 30 or 40 formulas then it's extremely time waste to learn so better apply whatever the logic what I'm saying. Uh, so that it will be easy to crack most of the questions on profit and loss right so friends thank you so much for watching this video so if you really like it share this video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much for watching this video bye